Disney characters have brought joy and love to so many families over the years. And personally for myself, it has literally changed my life completely. To the point that that's pretty much what I make all my content on. Yikes, I feel like I might need some new interest. Yeah, you think? So in today's video, we're gonna see what Disney characters look like if they were horror villains. So sit down, grab your nearest friend, and let's jump into the scares. Okay, so first up on the list, we had to go with my boy Woody. And I mean the cowboy for all you weirdos out there. <laughs> yeah. Woody is a classic Disney character, someone that I personally loved growing up. But one thing that always bothered me about the Toy Story movies was as you got older, you started to wonder if your own toys came to life. Because movies like Child's Play, Dead Silence, or even the most recent Megan really have me worried about Child's Play things. You are a child's play thing! And I feel like I'm not alone in this as so many people have told me they have the fear of dolls. And I don't blame them because go into an antique shop and literally walk by the doll section. You won't want to walk past it again because I'm telling you, it feels like they're watching you. So I thought the perfect horror character that Woody would fit would be an evil doll. And the original ideal was that Woody was going to be a ventriloquist dummy, which already looked scary enough. But let's take this a step further. When you think of a killer doll, what is the first one to come to mind? I guarantee you 90% of you probably said Chucky. I know for me, I did not want to own any kind of dolls as a kid after I watched that movie. I mean, even today as an adult, I don't think I've ever owned a doll. And no, pop figures don't count. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Now tell me that you still want to own a doll. Can you imagine a Woody doll coming to life if it looked like this? First off, it's a sheriff. It knows how to get the information out of you. You thought Chucky was bad. Don't mess with Woody on his bad day. Secondly, the town isn't big enough for the two of you. And if it comes down to having the choose, I feel like a murderous cowboy doll will win that fight. When they said plastic was killing us off, who knew how right they actually were? All right, the next character I had on my list was the adorable snowman Olaf. And you might be thinking, how can Olaf be scary? Elsa created Olaf to pretty much be the altered version of herself and someone that she wanted to be. But let me take this a step further and ask, what if Elsa created Olaf the opposite route, just as bad or in the image of what people thought of her? A true monster. I mean, look at this dude. First off, you already have to deal with the snow and the cold and shoveling your own driveway. But now you throw an abominable snowman at me who looks like he can handle fire just A-OK. -okay. So how do we defeat this sucker? I will say he has more wrinkles in his snow than your grandma has on her bum. But at the end of the day, I believe this snowman knows exactly how Summer feels and that pain he's bringing to you. Now this next one already fits the category of a horror creature, and that is Sully. And you might not know this, but there's a theory that goes around that back in the day of Monsters, Inc., before they figured out that scaring kids was more reliable, they probably killed off their victims in the beginning. So let's roll with that. That monster on your bed is not there just to scare you anymore, as this version of Sully is probably someone that Boo would not want to befriend. The teeth alone definitely tells me that he doesn't just eat vegetables. This monster is one your parents will even believe exists. Do not go in there. Buzz Lightyear was a character that literally replaced Andy's favorite toy. I mean, if that wasn't villainous enough, what could be? What if I told you that Buzz is actually an alien in disguise? This hard-nosed space ranger of Star Command is here on Earth for one reason, and one reason only. To invade and probe all of us. That's disgusting. Disgusting. Or, but on a serious note, why do aliens want to probe us so bad? Like, that's that has to be a kink, right? This thing is literally out of nightmares. The purple and green color scheme still exists, but this time in its flesh. But this version of Buzz doesn't come in peace. I mean, xenomorphs have their pros, but against a space ranger alien fighter? I don't know, space lasers can definitely tear through some things. Everyone's favorite fox from Zootopia has a dark side that we probably already know about. He was thievish and would get away with conning out people but at the end of the story, he becomes one of the most lovable characters in Disney history. But what if I told you that he has an even darker side that even Judy Hopps needs to be careful of? If Lion King has taught us anything, it's literally that the food chain exists. I mean, it has to happen because that is the circle of life. On the outside, yes, this thing looks absolutely terrifying. Any animal that has glowing eyes is definitely a time to bring out your crosses. But the main thing that sticks out to me is this version of Nick looks pretty swole if you ask me. This is a version of Nick that not even the big bad wolf would mess with. What is a good Hispanic version of a legend or creepy factor that I could turn Mirabelle into? 
And the first one that came to my head was the El Cupacabra. Literally, it's probably the most famous Hispanic legend of all time. Now, Mirabelle can be one of the best characters as we have seen in Encanto. She is literally there for her family. She's there to try to fix everything. But what if at nighttime, a darkness took over her? Something that she couldn't control, that everyone had to lock up and stay inside of their houses. Something that literally kept the community intact, that they worshiped the family Madrigal so much to keep this creature at bay. I felt every one of their fears. Honestly, I thought this was one of the coolest ones that I created just for the simple fact she literally is like the balance of light and dark. During the day, she's classic Mirabelle going around saving the world and keeping her family together, but at nighttime changing into one of the most creepiest creatures that the village is terrified of. I mean, honestly, I kind of want to see a movie like this now. Moving right along to the European psycho. See what I did there? Because she's not American. Boo! You stink! Now on the outside, Alice is one of those beautiful girls who literally just fell down a hole. And some of you might say Wonderland is amazing and this perfect new reality for her that she just discovered. But on the other hand, for years, people have always theorized that she literally was just high. And let's be honest, a talking cat that floats, you know, so I went in that perfect direction for her horror version of herself, but with a twist, because at the end of the day, this is a horror movie after all. So Alice most likely was a schizophrenic or at least someone that had some mental disabilities, whether she was high on life or she was literally just bat crap crazy. I wanted to show that Alice was also very powerful. Now, this is a woman of nightmares and she looks innocent enough on the outside that you already know that she's possessed by every demon in the book. She can literally bend reality around you and make you have psychiatric problems to make you hallucinate and see things to the point where you're not making it out alive. Now, this next character is one of the most beloved characters in Disney history, so I'm sorry for all you fans if you have to see him this way, and that is the lovable robot Baymax. Now, you might be thinking, how can you make someone so lovable be completely horrifying? And to that, I would say, you just turn on destroy mode. This looks like something Skynet would easily design. I mean, just imagine killer robots all over the world, especially with AI getting as advanced as is and how many people are absolutely terrified, lovable on the outside side, but as soon as you turn the switch, this is what you could end up with. I think the scariest thing about this version of Baymax is that it is so possible. And I think that's all I really need to say. Now, Ariel over the years has already been classified as potentially being more scary than we thought. She sings to lure her victims in and literally makes them fall in love with her as she did with Prince Eric. Now, don't just tell me that's a theory. That's that's facts, guys. So obviously the direction I went with for her was a siren. Now, if you guys don't know, sirens are like mythological or real creatures, depending on how your viewpoints are and what stories you believe, that lure sailors into their deaths by their beauty and song and then devour them in the sea. Let's be honest, men are very gullible when it comes to a pretty woman. You're telling me that you're scared of sharks? No, 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 no. Sharks are nothing compared to this version of The Little Mermaid. Imagine the beauty at first, and then as soon as you dip your head into the water, this is what comes up. Yeah. No, 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 thank you. The depth of the ocean already is absolutely terrifying, and you throw this girl into the mix? It's no wonder that we don't know a lot about the sea, because who would want to be in it with this dwelling there? Now, the last character I'm going to cover today is going to be Dr. Facilier. Yeah, that's right. I finally got the name right. I googled it, okay? AKA the voodoo man. Now on the outside, he already is kind of creepy, right? Especially as a younger kid, if you watch Princess and the Frog, you probably already knew that he was the villain based on how he dressed and how he acted. But that's just the beginning of his dark side. As we know, you don't mess with voodoo or voodoo can start changing you as a person. I mean, look at this guy. This is absolutely someone you would trust. You're joking, right? I mean, he looks like the Joker's cousin, but with a lot more skulls involved. You automatically know this is someone that is definitely going to trick you, and you'll probably lose your life at the end of it all. And don't worry, he already has a voodoo doll made of you, so there's no escaping it even if you don't make the deal. So which Disney character was the most horrific to you? Comment down below which character you would like me to cover in my next video. And until next time, I'll see you at the movies.